travelers, I'm Kimmy and I'm Carrie and come with us on this adventure. Customs and border control and we're just following the signs to the underground they're big yellow signs and we're finding our way to the underground all right so we made it to the underground that's what it looks like and then we're gonna try to top off our oyster cards that we had from like 11 years ago so and I think the machines are right there in the corner okay so we got our oyster cards filled up and we are going to be riding down to Piccadilly Circus on the Piccadilly line, which is the blue line. And we'll see how that goes. Yay, we're at Heathrow. Okay, so it was about a 50 minute ride on the underground to Piccadilly Circus, and now we need to figure out how to transfer to Bakerloo. We're just following the signs to Bakerloo, and then we need to get from Bakerloo to Lambeth North. You're in the underground. It's hot down here. More stairs. Okay, we've made it out of the underground and we are at the Lambeth North Station and now we're finding our way to our hotel. Right, so we are staying at the Marlin Hotel and the Lambeth Underground Station is right there, that building, and we just walked right down here and we're just waiting to check in. And there is the London Eye. And it's almost time to check in, but not quite. So we're just waiting to check in. Got our luggage here. We're gonna check in and then we'll go explore the city. And while I'm sitting here waiting to check in the hotel, I was gonna tell you guys about the Oyster card. So Kimmy and I actually have been to London before back in 2011 and we have the Oyster card and we actually still had money left over from our trip a long time ago so that was great. But if you are purchasing a new card it is seven pounds and then you just load up your card. It was super easy to do like way simpler than other places we have been. Um, you just tap the card to see how much was left and then we could fill it up. And I showed a little bit of that at the airport but I know it was kind of rushed because um, I was trying to film and vlog with my phone and all the luggage so it was really hard to film it all um, but I try to get little snippets for you guys. Kimmy and DJ are just next like two stores down and they are souvenir shopping already or at least looking around while we wait to check in and here they come now. Okay we just got checked into the hotel we'll give you guys a room tour later because we wanted to change and get out into the city it's about three o'clock and our hotel is so close, we just walk right over to Big Ben. So there's the London Eye and the river. And right across there is Big Ben. So we just checked out Big Ben and the London Eye. We're gonna go to the other side because it's very shadowy right now, trying to take pictures from the bridge. Okay, so this is Parliament right here and they're doing some construction over there on it and Big Ben is just right around there and then over here is Westminster Abbey. We just walked from Big Ben and the London Eye and Westminster Abbey and Parliament and it was a very short walk over to Buckingham Palace.
all right. Kimmy Cam time. Kimmy Cam time. DJ's here. Carrie's here. Buckingham Palace is here. Everything's so much closer than we remembered. We are on the Queen's Walk and we're gonna go see the Millennial Bridge from Harry Potter. We're just keep walking along the Queen's Walk here and there's St. Paul's Cathedral and there's the Millennial Bridge. Here's Shakespeare's Globe. Right, that is London Bridge. Alright, we made it to the Tower Bridge. Okay, so this is our room here at the Marlin. I'll show you guys around. We've got a closet right here, and it's just your basic closet with a safe, iron, ironing board, hangers. There's a shelf up there. Here's the bathroom. We've got a handicapped accessible bathroom. I don't know why, but that's the room they gave us, but it works. And they've got your sink over here and your soaps. And another sink and toilet. They've got a desk right here and a mirror, a queen size bed. Then we've got a sofa bed. And then they've got a TV on this side. And over here we have a nice kitchenette. It also has a sink, stove top. This right here is a dishwasher. We've got toaster, coffee maker, microwave, and refrigerator. And then it even comes with like pots and pans and stuff. And here's inside the drawers. Got some silverware. A knife, spatula, spoons, bowls, all the good stuff. We did not know we were getting all of this. Oh, there was glasses and cups in here. But we are loving the space. We're only here for one night and it is very, very close to Big Ben and the London Eye. It was like less than a five minute walk up the road. Yeah, so we really like this hotel and we like the location of it. And then over here by the beds, you've got the plugs and lights. Got some more plugs on this side. And then there's plugs above the couch right there. And then there's plugs on the side of the TV. And then there's plugs over here in the kitchen. So lots and lots of plugs in this hotel. This is the adapter we got for England. And there's what the plug looks like and we just got this off of Amazon and I think this came in a two pack and then these are the pictures above the bed and this is the window right here and it does open up right here so you can let in some air but we don't really have a view or anything but it's just kind of funny how it's like a little door and I think that's as far as it goes I don't know and yep that's it there's not one on the other side okay that's all for now all right, travelers. Yes, let's recap the day. First of all, I think we need to rewind a little bit and start from the beginning because we didn't even do very much of an intro. But um, Wednesday, we had the hurricane come mm -hmm. and it was coming in the afternoon yep. and overnight. Yes. And, and it was going into overnight to Thursday. And our flight and, was Thursday. And our flight was Thursday. So we were very worried about this trip. We didn't know what was going to happen, if it was going to be late. Yeah, all the connections. delays, connections. Um, the storm had passed um, over by, our airport. Yeah, by Thursday morning. Yeah, and then we had our flight Thursday night. Then we flew from um, North Carolina to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to Heathrow. So we got a good little taste yep. walking tour of London. Um, but we don't. Yeah, we didn't really expect too much time here. 
Um, just because we didn't know about traveling. Yeah, so you're just going to see this vlog was kind of just little snippets of things that we just walked by. Um, we have been to London before, so we just kind of wanted to re see everything again. It's been a while. Um, yeah. So join us for the next vlog. Or we're putting this together, right? I think tomorrow I'll just put it together because yeah, you so, probably didn't see much today. Yeah, but so tomorrow we travel to Southampton. All right, so we will see you guys next morning in three, two, one. Good morning. We are checked out of the hotel and making our way to the Waterloo train station. Okay, we have made it into the Waterloo train station. So when you come into the station, they do have tickets that you can buy here. We have pre-bought our tickets online on trainline.com for Waterloo to Southampton Central. Um, it was about $14 a person. Um, however, a few days before our trip, we got an email saying that there were strikes going on and the trains wouldn't be running, but then it said we could pick a different train, just not all the trains were running. So we were really worried about this. We weren't sure about it, um, but the man told us we could use our ticket for any time that's working today. Our plan was originally 12.35, but that train got canceled. So they said we could take like the 10.30 train is the next one and then we could use it for that. So we're hoping to get on that. We're just waiting and looking at the board up here just so we can figure out which platform we have to get on. So I'll just show you the board right there. See the one that says 1030 Southampton Central and it says wait um, platform P5 through 11. So we're not sure which platform we'll get to go on yet. Okay, so I guess we're at platform 11. All right, we are at platform 11 and we're getting on the train to Southampton Central. And it's the Southwestern Railway. Okay, so we just put our luggage up there. We just got on any coach and then they've got little trays right here. Oh, that one's leaving. And then they've got little trays right here. And then they've got plugs right there so you can charge. And we're just ready to take off on the train. Arrived at Southampton Central. Okay, so we we just beeped our ticket coming out of Southampton Central Station. That's when we needed it. And now we are gonna walk to our hotel. Okay, so we just made it to our hotel. Um, they let us keep our bags here because it's too early to check in, but we're just gonna go around and explore Southampton now until we can check into our room. set sail from Southampton so they do have memorials around town here this one is for the engineers of the Titanic so right over there was the engineer memorial for the Titanic and then across the street here this one is for the musicians that were on the Titanic we're just strolling through Southampton a lot of pretty parks in the area So we're just walking, our hotel's over there. We're just walking around the gardens. We're trying to just find the port for tomorrow. Um, but there's like a little putt-putt area right here in the middle of this beautiful garden. As we just have to show the birds here, look how big they are. I don't know if it looks like it in the camera, but they're much bigger than back home for just walking around the park here. Do-do-do, do-do-do. All right. We're just having some lunch in the park. So we just came into our hotel, got all checked in. So I'm gonna take you guys for a little room tour real quick. Over here, right at the door, 
It's like a little closet area, towels, iron, ironing board hangers. Over here to the left is the bathroom. We've got a sink and mirror, and then we've got a tub for the bathroom here, the shower, soaps. And then behind the door is the toilet. Coming out of the bathroom, this room has one full bed and one twin bed. Light, very nice. And over here, we've got a TV. There is no refrigerator. And then we've got a desk right here. Here is our view from our room. We're on the sixth floor in Southampton. I did want to mention the plugs. Um, there's plugs there on either side of the beds. There's plugs at the desk right here too, so plenty of plugs. And this room also has air conditioning, which our other hotel, that was the only thing they didn't have. They didn't have any air. Um, but this room does have controls for air conditioning. And then there's a full length mirror right here next to the bathroom and there's the door in the closet. And the other hotel also had this, but you had to put your, like a card in to make the electricity work. So it's kind of like a cruise ship. Um, so this hotel and the Marlin Waterloo Hotel both had this too. I forgot to show that in the other one. And yeah, a lot smaller room, but it'll do it's just for one night before tomorrow. And I think that's it. I just want to show you this about the umbrella. You can rent an umbrella for the hotel. Very nice. All right, everybody. So we made it to Southampton, and we just wanted to take time to close out our video here. We hope you enjoyed our past two days of travel and a little sightseeing in London. So you can hear the horn ships coming in. Um, we walked down there earlier to the dock to see where we were going, and there was a ship in there, and you can hear it now. Yes. There's also an airport in Southampton. Just checked into the hotel it's literally right there yeah. you guys need to come back for tomorrow's video because tomorrow is our embarkation day on the Disney tree so we're gonna walk to the port tomorrow and yep. then we will be boarding the Disney dream Yay. Yay. our favorite ship we're so excited yes so we actually have been on the dream before um, we were there in 2016 it was yep. our very first cruise maritime cruise and then we did it in 2018 on the Halloween cruise, a three nights. So this is the first time we actually get to be on longer the dream three. longer. Yeah, so longer really than excited a three for that. And our first European cruise, we're so excited. So be sure to check out those videos and stick around. And thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. And we will see you next time. Bye, Bye travelers. travelers.